Uh, first off, I want to say, Kalalal, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahshai, the blunders to the elder apostles of James, saying blessings to the elect out there, much love and respect to the Akyam, you know, the steward teaching in sincerity, saying uplifting the brothers, edifying the brothers, whether be by sit downs or by um, street teachings, saying this is um, Brother Kabash from Jamaica Camp. James, um, Aram. <laughs> <laughs> right, and basically, the topic we want to go to today. Seeing is um cultural and moral relativism, right? Which is um the so-called so-called white man's new way of eradicating the idea of absolute truth, seeing an absolute right and wrong. Seeing basically the the whole democracy um beast yeah. basically evolved, seeing into into a new monster, or basically uh, eat away at societal standards, seeing what is right and wrong, what is gender, seeing and what is truth. Alright, so we're going at two terms. We we'll deal with that. The first one is cultural relativism. Alright, we're we'll gonna look at that and the um the, the, the foolishness will come with it. Moral relativism and then we're we'll gonna compare that to what the scripture have to say of course and what Yahweh have to say to Yahweh Shai. Alright, All right, so this um cultural relativ relativism truth is relative. Cultural relativism Relativism is the view that no culture is superior to any other culture when comparing systems of morality, law, politics, etc. It is the philosophical notion that all cultural beliefs are equally valid and that truth itself is relative depending on a culture depending on culture on the culture and cultural environment. Exactly. Like Seeing so if 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 you're basically saying that truth is relative and it depends upon, upon culture that means you can justify a man to do any type of wickedness when one and we, we see that basically uh, evolve from um, from women's rights seeing give, giving women more 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 rights if, if you do certain things to be more than a man basically then it go on to children's rights seeing what children know children now have the, um, the, the, the power seeing to divorce them parents and do whatever them please and then we say gay rights seeing which which is a monster right now Basically, um, fathers have the right to, 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 to do whatever they please and marry, and you can't discriminate against them. Seeing, and then we have the transgender thing, human rights, seeing, and pedophiles now, seeing, asking for, the, for, for their rights, right? So, once you remove, seeing, the, 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 the pillar of truth, and you say, oh, it's a moving target now, seeing, it's something that's relative, then you can justify any wickedness. And this is, this is exactly what the so called white man is doing. Seeing him is against the laws of the Mosai, seeing so him, him devise any way, seeing will eradicate what is true and what is right and wrong. Right? Just um, go down to that paragraph there. Uh, it says um, cultural relativism, a misguided movement towards pluralism and tolerance. And pluralism is basically um, a fancy word for say oh, we, we, you accept more than one um, view, viewpoints in one culture. Right, like America. America is a, is a big melting pot filled with different people of different cultural backgrounds who believe in a different crop. That's what them, that's, that's what them call pluralism. And intolerance, seeing, is another monster. Seeing, we basically tell you that, seeing, you should accept, seeing, other people's um, um, ways, no matter how bizarre them seem to you. Right? And, so, um, you know, mm -hmm. can I say this, um, with the whole plural, plural, pluralism thing, yeah, have a whole lot of people say them, um, them don't subscribe to no one thing because everything have truth so them them draw from here and then draw from there so like they mm -hmm. say oh the bible not completely true but they have some things we we'll take from the bible and then again buddhism but certain things you we'll take from like say them, them grab from all different areas which you know say oh that within itself um a confusion because okay. you know the truth you don't know, have the truth as a foundation you know have, if if you draw from anything it's supposed to be pure truth yo one thing you can't be cared about with every little thing we hear you is either right or wrong Can. up or down and just like the movie um cloud atlas i'm a love for quote seeing the um that 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 asian looking girl that mobile looking girl where they get um interrogated at the beginning of the movie seeing the, the officer ask her him say him say basically i'm interested in a fair version of truth and uh, she replied by saying truth is singular seeing its versions are mistruths seeing and that is what we hold that is what the how about me i hold Seeing that theme word is truth, seeing and everything else is false, right? But the so-called white man eradicate that notion, 
and tell her that your idea of truth seeing is 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 also right and the next man beside the idea of truth is also right and therefore truth is multiple seeing it no longer sim single yo that's why that's why it means um, pluralism yeah. pluralism can yeah. it says um cultural relativism so lucky after that word yeah cultural relativism like moral relativism pervades to the pervades today's word as long as we don't hurt anyone anything goes absolute truth has been discarded along with god we live in a society of pluralism and tolerance we reject the idea of universal right and wrong which basically mean one circle of right and wrong right they, um, they reject that as, as they say oh pluralism more than one mm -hmm. way should be right and more than one way should be wrong Good. it says with a diminishing list of objective standards or legislative system it is having a harder time defining the laws and our court system is having a harder time interpreting them exactly because basically you using this human rights platform seeing you can argue almost any lewd behavior or almost any immoral behavior you know? seeing so the courts them have to rewrite laws seeing and write the law them in a more vague way you know? the, 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 the vocabulary for the law, new law them we are right seeing more vague because they have to encompass a, a bigger umbrella of immoral acts and no See, boundaries. No boundaries, yo. Basically, that, that's what the so-called white man is doing. He might eradicate the boundaries of right and wrong, yo. You basically, uh, you, you, you unravel the fabric of society. See, because if the idea of truth or right and wrong is removed, see, then where you have is chaos. Where you have is every man walking according to theme mindset, see, then nobody now agrees agree upon what, because the, the very idea of a government, see, is that you 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 agreed upon some objective right and wrongs so where everybody have to abide by this is why you have the courts this is why you have the um the penal system where you, where you get put um put to serve time if you break a law re, re, re. but if a man can say yo i'm justified breaking this law based upon some human rights misconception or human rights uh, um crap okay. scene then you, you you can't really enforce your laws that, that's why the whole he, thing falls to ruins. That's why when you're up on the road and them say, oh, democracy, or everyone have the right to do what they want, we ask them, say, all right, why you, you wouldn't give a rapist um, rights? Or why you wouldn't give one, um, the same thing, why you wouldn't even give one pedophile rights? Mm -hmm. Right? Because we, we ask them things, we know, discuss them, and say, well, why make you give people to do that certain rights? And then everybody go quiet. And then we ask them, say, oh, so we think, say, oh, everybody be free if you do and believe everything they want to believe. So it, it, it does contradiction, basically. Right. Um, go down to the, the, the last sentence. Uh, it says, according to the relativis relativists, all points of view are view are true except for those that teach absolute truth, absolute right or wrong, or an absolute God. Exactly. All right. Um, go down to the last one here. The last um, paragraph uh, here. Uh, yeah. It says, of course, cultural relativism is appropriate in some respects. For example, food, clothing, language, and driving rules are different within cultures. And it's important that these relative differences remain. Exactly. Because the scripture tells us say, oh, Yahweh created the nations and uh, separate and divide them according to, the, to them lot and give them different lands. Right? So, yes, we, we know that yo, Yahweh have different culture, different music, different clothing and food. And they have the, difference in yeah, the world. The, 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 um, the scripture tells us that that is important, yo. They have that. But at the same time, the moral code are going to be issued seen by Jerusalem. As the scripture said, the law shall go forth from Jerusalem. Seen. Okay. So at the law where, where the most I give to Moses, or give, or give to the children of Israel, that's going to govern the kingdom. Yo. See, in all of the rest of the nations, no matter what cultural differences we have, truth are going to be singular. Even though cultures might be, um, diverse. Might be diverse, truth can be diverse. Yo. That doesn't make sense because no matter what culture you're in, the law of gravity is true. That is an absolute truth. You can't say, oh, me don't believe that gravity exists, so therefore, me can jump off and build and fly. That's, that's total madness, yo. And that, that, this, this is the direction where this thing is going. See, in the, when you can say, oh, gender is no longer biologically defined, but is, this is defined based upon your social and your psychological construct, then no in a sense, yo. See, it don't make no sense because you're walking in a female bathroom with one penis and say, yo, you believe that you're one female. And because of the, 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 the society we live in and now, that is justified. That is madness because you have the, all of the in, indications of what a male and a female is. 
you have all the um all the in, in indications so uh, basically you have, you have indicators you have signs you everything of a particular sign or a cons or a particular construct will show you what them supposed to be mm -hmm. and since exactly if you're a man you have beard um if you're a woman most times them ear long come down or them 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 shape or them, them behavior yeah. them, all them things you know, are the signs to show exactly where you be so you go against all of that other straight madness can okay. yeah it says however these are not issues of of universal right and wrong these are not matters of mathematical certainty these are not issues of truth in a relative in a relative your mind in a relative, relativistic society in a relativistic society we have no right to judge or punish anyone right and wrong are now defined by socialization society changes and morality becomes a moving target in truth if the standard of right and wrong is based on relativism then society has no standards at all which is exactly what we come to right now seeing because socialization basically depends on the, um, the agenda of um the the, 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 the top stock institute okay. seeing where you have the um the most noted uh, mass psychologists seeing and mass philosophers will, will come together seeing and, and and define what is right for, for the culture and what is the next thing where, 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 where the culture need in the next direction where the culture need to move towards seeing because you can notice seeing every 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 idea will get pushed it pushed through mainstream media it pushed through your movies your your music your your, um, your, your, your comedies all them things there seeing and these are things where, when it does happen by chance they happen by design right so what they might do is use all of these things even with education they might use all of these things seeing to blur the lines are right and wrong to the point where they no longer exist so that them can tell you what is right and wrong or so that them can tell you that everything is right and nothing is wrong right okay. so um, we don't need to read the other one because the other one says the same thing so you just read the top part from our moral relativism and we're getting some precepts and wrap it say, um, moral relativism what what is it all about moral relativism is the view that ethical standards morality and positions of right or wrong are culturally based and therefore subject to a person's individual choice we can all decide what is right for ourselves you decide what what's right for you and i'll decide what's right for me moral relativism says it's true for me if i believe it exactly which is we go right back to um alistair crowley saying do as thou wilt which seen you know, which you know is a is a is a satanic doctrine seen you know, and it, it basically it, it fester chaos seen you, know, you, know, you have to have some objective definition of what is right and wrong and what is true but, but you know that's all like that's only like a little child yo. yeah that's not like yeah. that basically sound like a toddler because a toddler go through a certain period in their life where them where them egocentric where them believe that everything what them feel is right and wrong seeing you know, basically what you have to is you have reduced society to a, to a toddler men, uh, mental stage yo. Um, Seeing, could us um go in a fair precepts. Uh, this, um, Psalms 50 verse 16. But unto the wicked God said, What hast thou to do to declare my statutes, or what thou sh that thou shouldest take in my covenant? It's lucky. Or that thou shouldest take my covenant in thy mouth, <clears throat> seeing thou hatest instruction and casted my words behind thee. Exactly. So, right now. <clears throat> Them probably even removed the, the, the Bible as a swearing um, book from, from the courts. Because you know that when you're going to be a witness, you go up on the stand, you put your right hand on the Bible, and you swear upon your life, seeing that you take that, that you speak the truth. Seeing, mm -hmm. which, which is, which is the, 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 the height of hypocrisy, because you're going you to swear on the Bible, which has a moral code, seeing, we tell you what is right and wrong, and then you know. I gotta leave that moral code and define what is right and wrong according to your social status or your socialization. See? So the most I say, oh, what has thou to do to declare my statutes? Why you have my book? Why you have the Bible then? Seeing if you're not going to follow the Bible. See? Continue. So, seeing thou as hatest instruction and casted my words behind thee, when thou sawest a thief, then thou contendest with him. And has been partaken with adulterers. See, basically, what you do, what scripture says, is you justify people that break in the laws of the Most High. See, the chief examples now, see, is um, homosexuality, transgender, see, and all them things. Right? These, these are the things that we justify. 
all the right all the so called rights were swapped to the wrongs you know, according to the most high uh, words. Can you can go to the next piece of this kind of get in of that. This um Abakuk one verse four. It says therefore the law is slapped and judgment doth never go forth. For wicked doth compass about the righteous Therefore, wrong judgment proceeded. Exactly. So, because the the earth right now giving into the hand of the wicked, seeing he saw the so-called white man, seeing right now right right true right and wrong according to the scriptures according to the Moses is not going out. Therefore, wrong judgment proceeded. Right. Um. This happened because them them think on their own mind, you know, think that what them believe seeing is more just than the heavenly Father. Seeing get um Saint Je Saint Jeremiah mean. So Jeremiah 17 verse 9 The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked who can know it? Exactly, so if you are going to say oh, it is true for me because I believe it seeing, that means that you believe in a lie oh, because as the scriptures say oh, the heart is wicked seeing, your own, your own mind wicked and deceitful Alright? So, so we're, we're, we're going to show you what the remedy what, what the most I direct with towards right? The, um, Saint John 17 verse 17 Sanctify them through thy truth, thy word is truth Exactly Truth is singular and the most high word is truth Seeing So with that we hope the Akiyam learned something We hope this was an edifying lesson Seeing Once again Kalal Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Seeing double honors to the elder apostles of GMS Seeing and honors to the brothers that continually push out this word in sincerity <coughs> Alright, see you strong Shalom